So the, the series begins with Penny in the fourth grade, and she's really on a quest to become popular. And in her mind, that's most important. So the books are set in the 1980s for a very specific reason, actually. And it's not simply that much of my childhood was the 80s, um, but also because I wanted to have a setting sort of pre-technology. So if you're wondering if I had a bad home perm, <laughs> yes. But Penny kind of just came to me. She sort of is this real little person that I felt I had to tell her story. One question that I get asked probably most often is how much of me is in Penny? I took some of my childhood memories and rearranged them. Penny challenges me to embrace my oddities <laughs> and my weirdness. One of the biggest delights in writing the Penny books was coming up with a scene and then reading it to my children, specifically my daughter who was so enthusiastic about it. I asked my son if he'd be willing to do some illustrations for me. So what the illustrations are, are just small little pieces from the story, little things that maybe at the surface didn't seem so significant, but the things he drew, there, there actually is great significance in them. And you, and you maybe would miss it just, just reading it. So my passion is that I want to write good quality stories that have a character that they can learn good lessons from. When I first had the notion that I would try to publish, get them published, I didn't want to promote myself. Um, that just felt like, I don't know, not me, I guess. So I had in my mind that I would like to find a way to, to better support missions. It was really just such a blessing to know that in, a, in some way I can pass on, you know, whatever, whatever the books bring in. And, and in that way it's not about me, but it's about spreading the good news where, where there's mostly bad news. You know, it could be useful maybe to somehow show where you can purchase it. Right? So like, it's gonna be available. Are you recording me? <laughs>